So Hoka is just throwing so many shoes at us at once. It seems like they just gave us the Rocket X, then the Carbon X2, now the Mach 4. And I didn't even know what this thing was. This does not look like a Mach. I feel like they shouldn't even call this a Mach. They should call this like the carbon plate less version of the other shoes. Sure. Yeah. This is our review of the Hoka One One Mach 4. The Mach 4. What is this shoe for? What, what, what are we thinking about this shoe? This overall is a shoe, like, what's going on with this shoe? Everything. It's an everything type of shoe. Everyday type of shoe. We use it for, I'm gonna go straight into it and say, this is a very, very versatile shoe. You could do pretty much anything in it. And that's it. Just like that? Just like that. You know, they described the shoe to me. You know, and every company does this. This shoe's good for this and that and that. You're like, all right, yada, yada, yada. What, what's it? It's good for everything. I'm, they should buy it, right? I have to agree. Like, it has everything but a carbon plate. Which is good, because <laughs> I, I feel like there's too many of them. Out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it has a good cushioning. It's balanced, not too you no know, compressive, but not too firm. Decent stack height. And it has traditional Hoka fit. Would you say same fit as the other Hocus, or? Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. I mean, it doesn't run long. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's funny, I just noticed on the inside, it says train to fly every day. And I feel like um, everything about this shoe just works. Like, I feel like they had, a, uh, they had an idea. They like said, all right, let's make a shoe that's versatile, that's lightweight, that's speedy, that's cushioned. Yep. And they kind of found that balance. And I feel like I wasn't a fan of the mock last year. I was just like, eh. Cool. Sure. It was okay. Like, I wasn't like gonna pick it up on other other choices, but I was like, all right, if I have it, I have it. This one, I'm like, oh, I have it and I like it. Yep. So it has like a semi-flat tongue. It kind of contours to the top of your foot. I thought it felt very nice, uh, breathable. You know, it, it didn't it didn't move around. The heel has that flaring out sensation. You know, got the thing going back, kind of lean back like Fat Joe thing going on. Has that booty going on in the back as well. Yeah, I would say I didn't feel this much compared mm -hmm. to the Carbon X2. So it's like they were just a little toned down. Yep. Like maybe keep this kind of format into the Carbon X2, and I think that would have been like the really Perfect. good blend. Yeah, yeah. A good balance. But yeah, this one has a little bit, you know, in the back, which, you know, good, good for transition from the heel to the toe off. I'm more of a midfoot striker anyway, but I didn't feel like it was holding me back in any way. So if it's there, good. The cushioning, like, it's weird because you say a Hoka. Now if I say, what's like the everyday main Hoka shoe? People say the Clifton, sure. the Rincon. And I'm like, well, what does a mock fit? Because I kind of feel like the mock is like a more durable, more responsive version of a Rincon. It's kind of like between what the Rincon and Clifton would be. Somewhere in there. Sure, but I kind of want to disagree with you about the durability issue, just because I only have 15 miles on this and it's already starting to show some wear and tear on the bottom, right. you know? But everything else is right on the nail. Um, it's in between like a, a Clifton and a Rincon. I mean, we run on the, on the lake most days. We don't do anything that's yeah, that harsh. Yeah, nothing crazy. Like, no, gravel, crushed granite, a little bit of concrete every now and then. So yeah, looks like you're already having some issues and that's only 15 miles in. And then this, this is the first impressions. I think I only have like 10 miles in mine. Okay. So this is like first, first impressions. But they gave so many shoes at once, you gotta try everything back to back to back. I'm like, all right, well, what do you want me it's to like, do? Give us some time. Right, so um, hill counter, any slipping? Not at all. Um, only issue I have with the shoe, honestly, is the lacing. The lacing? I well, think the laces are a little bit too long. I felt some slapping around my shins a lot when I was running. Really? Yep. That's the only issue I have with the I, I shoe. Didn't, I didn't get that, but that's, that's, kinda, that's why you're here. Cause like I wouldn't, I never had anything like that, but yep. I feel like that's good to know. Cause long laces or short laces can be like a small thing that's so annoying in the actual run. Yep, and it kills it. It makes you think about the shoe more. Yeah, I feel like I got used to it though. My, like my first run, I had to stop. Well, I stopped two or three times just to make sure my laces were untied. But after that, the second run, it felt normal. So if, you just, if it doesn't bother you, whatever. Do you remember that shoe review you did about two years ago where it's like? Choose it, your top five softest shoes. You remember that? Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that? The top five soft? This would be in that category now. You, you would say this is like soft as far as like compared to the Clifton and everything? Yeah, or? yep. 
Really? It's a very, very soft shoe. Not in a bad, soft, mushy feel where you just feel lethargic. Like, it's a soft, poppy shoe, if that makes sense. It has some bounce back. Yep. It's not, it's not soft, compressive, and it's like, all right, mm. it's like soft, but got you back yep. in, your, yep. in your toe. On the scale of like firm to soft, I feel like the Clifton is like on the soft end. To me, this is kind of like a little bit less than that. Okay. But you say close, closer to that soft I think it's closer to the Clifton, yeah. All right, see, sensation. So I'm liking this. I like, I like you, you know, you're the only person who's like, I got an opinion, I'm gonna say. Okay. Everyone wants to agree with me. I'm like, you don't have to agree with me. I don't kiss any. Yeah, yeah. please. Regardless, I think we both like this shoe. Yeah, yeah, it's a... And I was surprised because out of the three shoes we got from them, this is the one I was like, okay, I'll wear that one when I can. And I was like, oh, this is a... I would say out of all three shoes, this was the one shoe I was like, pleasantly surprised, like, expectations and just like exceeded it. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely, this is definitely one I'm, I like. Well, yeah, when the Mach 3 and 2 are complete booty, the 4 just, when the standard's so low, you know, it's kind of easy to. Maybe they played us. Maybe. You know how like you talk to a girl and like you like each other and like you, you don't give her too much at once, you know? You gotta be like a little bit of an asshole sometimes so that way she appreciates you being nice. No. Oh, for you're married. I, I'm engaged. Oh yeah, you're, you're engaged. okay. You're engaged. Well, for the people who aren't engaged, y'all yeah, know the game I'm talking about. Where like, if you set your standards up too high consistently all the time, they expect that to be the normal. They don't appreciate it. But if you kind of have like moments of like not always being great, when you show them a, a piece of greatness, a piece of niceness, a piece of things, something that's unexpected, it's like wow. You get a little excited <laughs> about it. And I feel like this is like my moment of like wow. I didn't expect that. Cause maybe come out. I was used to having like lower standards for the box. Yeah, sure, sure. I, I kind of see where you're coming from, I guess. I kind of feel like they, they, they're trying to play games with me. I won't show your fiance this. Nah, it's okay. I, I don't know if she'll see it. She doesn't really. Shoe in itself, pretty simple. Uh, I think we both agree. Versatile. It can go fast. It can be soft. It can be your everyday trainer. Tempo runs, long runs. If you want to use it to walk, go for it. We don't yeah. have to be runner train. You could be joggers. Maybe an elite jogger. That's what I am. And I like it. The question is, would you race in this shoe? Me, no. No? No. I would not race in this shoe. I, I keep in mind that, like, not everyone has the Carbon X2, the Rocket X, and the Mach. And, you know, some people have to, like, pick one shoe and say, okay, this is my one shoe for everything. Would you suggest to say a person has enough for one shoe? They have their 200 bucks. They're like, all right, cool. Is this the one you go with, the everyday trainer, or you go with something more of the fancier cover plate one? You know, if you're really limited, I would say go with this and buy yourself an extra pair of shorts or socks, because it is a really good shoe. Like, again, I'm a little extra. I like the carbon plate. Um, if you're not, no nonsense. It's a good shoe. It'll yeah. work. Yeah, I like the Rocket X a lot, but I'm like, I'm, I, I can dig this. Like, if someone was like, hey, Jamie, wear this, I'm like, don't Thank mind you. if I do. I'm not mad. Thank you. So yeah, definitely approved for me. Excellent. All right, guys, that is our first thoughts, first impressions on the Hoka One One Mach 4. Let us know what you guys think about it. I think it's be one of those very much overlooked shoes because I feel like no one's really looking for it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, you know, if you're into the Clifton's and the Ring Cons, I think you'll probably like this shoe just as much as those. Give it a try if you. Yeah. Yeah, if you can. If you're a hoka snob, you're definitely going to want one of these. But yeah, the mock. Last year's mock was just like, cool. Dang. <laughs> Hold nothing back. But yeah, this one's definitely the one. That I, I'm definitely liking this one. So uh, with that said, you can follow us on Instagram. You know, follow Goose around here. Follow myself. You know, and a shout out to the Patreons for holding it down. But yeah, we're back at doing reviews. And just want to thank you guys for being patient with the process. Uh, we'll have new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe, hit that bell, because the algorithm likes the bell, it likes comments, it likes likes. I like likes. You like likes? I like likes. I like when you like likes. I love likes. Ooh. And with that said, be sure to stay in school. Do not do drugs. And if you can, keep it 